Hello everybody. Um, now it's time to look at League B. And in order to do so, uh, we'll look today at the groups B1 and B2. Yes, I'm wearing my glasses because it's sometimes better to work on the computer with the glasses. I'm still not quite fully shifted, but yeah, gonna get there. Um, the jersey I'm wearing is of course from a League B team, my home country, Austria. I decided to take my first Austria shirt for that one, but Austria doesn't feature in this video. I'm gonna go through, as I said, groups B1 and B2 and let's get straight to it. Where is the... here they are. And we'll start off in group B1, which is Slovakia, Ukraine and the Czech Republic. And Slovakia now has Nike kits after Euro 2016 they switched. I actually regret a little bit. I could have gotten the Slovakia 2016 kits from Puma for quite cheap at a sale. But yeah, one of those little misses. Um, it's not that I really needed to have them, but I thought this, yeah, now I regret it because it would have fit nicely in my collection. I actually like this one a lot and now we're getting, you know, once you get away from the top uh, European teams, you find a lot of interesting shirts uh, and this time around, especially by Nike, they've issued quite a few nice shirts and the Slovakia shirt, shirt fits right into that pattern. It's the plain white shirt. We have, of course, the Slovak coat of arms here. We have the Federation crest in the center and the Nike swoosh. And then this really great sleeve pattern with the zigzag pattern that is um, a little bit looser uh, towards the end of the sleeves and gets very tight uh, to the top. Really interesting to look at. Um, if you look at the back, we of course have also the pattern. There is this red tape with again the Slovak coat of arms, which I think is a really nice feature here. Really, really like this shirt and the away shirt I even like better. That doesn't come as a surprise, you know I like navy shirts and this one reminds me a lot of the France uh, home shirt. However with a twist because here we have a actually nicer pattern. It doesn't have the Nike mandatory uh, flashes here, or the zigzag pattern. It really has an active great pattern on there that extends to the collar and it fits so nicely with the shirt and the color is really great. Maybe a Slovak jersey should be a little bit of a lighter blue, but I really think it fits very well. Also, I like how the swoosh is red and not white, but the Federation crest pops a little bit more. And here we see the uh, jersey in the back looks very similar to the home jersey, just navy blue. But here we see the detail with the Slovak coat of arms. Yes, monochromatic, but actually fits very nicely. Uh, really love those two shirts. Now, yesterday, I'm recording this. It will, it will post when you read this. It's two days ago. We saw I saw Ukraine against the Czech Republic, and Ukraine really released the home markets that they have just for this game. So uh, this is basically the first good look I get. And yeah, very plain jerseys. It has the standing collar, which becomes more and more popular. My favorite team, Lusk, also uses it. And I wish I had a better look of the shirt. Except you know, I don't like that the player here is putting his hand in front of his mouth and kind of obstructing a little bit the view. I saw that there's a slight um, pattern on the sides, which is kind of a Ukraine traditional clothing pattern. Um, and there is a little bit of a, a pattern, shadow patterning on the shirt itself. Other than that, it looks quite plain. Same goes for the um, away jersey. And here you can see the pattern on the front. It's kind of diagonal running. Uh, I actually like here how the um, Federation crest is, uh, the, you see the inside of the yellow a little bit better. Nothing wrong with this uh, jersey, it's maybe a little bit too bland. Um, I think I've seen better Homer jerseys. Uh, and I like the previous iteration of Ukraine much better. And I know I have to find the time, but I want to go through now many European shirts, especially the ones that were already Euro 16 and are now featured in the at least the top nations leagues and so on, to really write those on my blog and then you get also a rating for this one. And now to the Czechs, which honestly, this is my favorite jersey of the League B teams. Um, yes, it's a Puma template, but I love the lion on it. Uh, yes, I wish that the blue would go around. Um, I wish that the Federation Grace had the full coat of arms for of the Czech Republic, which is absolutely awesome. 
Uh, this one, yeah, they have been using it since 2012. It's just not as great as the Bohemian Lion. But having then the big lion, I mean, it's better than what Cameroon has. This is a really a threatening, kind of scary lion. Absolutely love that one. Uh, our northern neighbor really got it nice this time around. Um, yes, a little bit less puma pattering on, on, on the top would be nice. Great shirt. This is overall a great looking group. Uh, the away jersey, yeah. Same as Italy, same as Switzerland, just using the Czech colors. And that's actually a forte here because it adds three colors. We have the Puma Cats in red, we have the collar in blue, and the um, Federation Craze is also red with a little bit of blue in there, which actually makes a lot of sense and looks nice. So yeah, great looking group. The only jersey that I think... now yeah, they have three great jerseys, the two Slovakia ones and the Czech home, and then two plain nice jerseys but i think the ukraine jerseys are both a little bit better than the czech away jersey but there's nothing wrong with that one let's get to the next group which is actually quite an interesting one as well um we'll start off with russia and we have seen this jersey um at the world cup also was thinking about this one although i like the one last year better um but you know, I cannot have them all. And I said it before, my budget for jerseys this year is more or less done because I also bought a lot of hockey jerseys thanks to the Reebok sale. But let's go back to the Russia jersey. I think overall it's quite nice. Uh, it's a reimagination of, I think, of a 91 uh, USSR jersey. And I really like that Russia went now with the red jerseys to kind of continue this tradition. It's not exciting, but there's nothing really wrong with it either. So yeah, I mean, the wrapping around on the sleeves uh, nicely mirrors the pattern. I would wish a little bit more. I liked the 2014 jerseys where they had this um, cosmonaut and space theme running. The away jersey, however, is a little bit unimaginative. I don't get what this dotted pattern should be. I'm sorry, this could be much uh, in more interesting. And yeah, we saw this one. That's the one that beat Spain in. So I guess it features uh, proudly in the memory of the Russian for the World Cup. But overall, this jersey, there's just nothing special. And it's kind of random. If there was uh, a bad explanation to what this pattern should be, and maybe you know it. If you know it, please let, let me know in the comments. Then I maybe could like this one better. But the way it is, uh, it just doesn't convince me. Same thing with the Sweden home jersey. Uh, one of the biggest disappointments. I get, yes, it's a marriage of the 94 or 92 jersey with the collar and the 89 jersey by Adidas that had this diagonal striping. It is just, go for the 94 one, then you have something way more interesting. You could have the blue striping and Mexico did it and they play in the same group really still not over it. Also, I think that the yellow is a little bit too light for me. Um, and the back, yeah, there's nothing special about it. Uh, in principle, there's nothing special about the away jersey either, but I love the colors here. Really, I love those colors. They are um, the dark blue and the royal blue This on this template and then with, together with the yellow. This is a jersey that I actually like a lot. Um, yeah, I have not seen it, but uh, I would be tempted to get that one. This is a really nice Sweden uh, jersey, and when they wore with the uh, yellow pants against Germany, I really liked that matchup. And now the last team in this group is Turkey, which get an interesting looking away jersey. I'm happy that they have gone, they had just used a little bit of black accent. I mean, the previous jersey was awful, I thought. Uh, at first it's plain red, but you have this red um, lines going from the crest to the swoosh, which add a little bit accent, then you have the black collar, which I don't like, that's the short collar. Other than that, it's plain. The sleeves have a little bit of the zigzaggy pattern, but you cannot really see it, like with the Portugal or in home or England away jersey. And on the back, yeah, the taping is red with the uh, half moon and the star from the Turkish flag, which makes sense. I maybe would have turned them around to that the taping makes the flag. But, you know, it doesn't look bad. I think this can also make the flag. But um, similar to the Poland away jersey, 
a little bit uninspired, although it has the black color. I just don't like the way the color is made. The pattern going across is interesting, but if it was black or if it was white, I think it would show much better. But note that the turkey uses a roundel for uh, the flag detail, uh, unlike Switzerland. That would fit Switzerland very well. But everything that's a little bit wrong with the home jersey, not wrong, but you know what's hidden, really pops on the away jersey. Uh, here, white, you have the red color, which, yeah, is not perfect, but then you have the red lines going, you can really see this um, triangular pattern that's on there. This looks awesome. Just reverse the colors or use black on the home jersey and this would look equally awesome. Maybe the swoosh is not as visible here, but I really like the way this jersey looks. And uh, if you look at here close in the detail, I absolutely love this one. This is a really great shirt. Of course, they use the Nike standard font, as almost all Nike teams do here. Uh, the back again has now the red taping that the home jersey also had. and. It has the half moon, so it really looks a little bit like a flag. So that's a really nice shirt. This white turkey jersey is also among the favorites of mine uh, that I saw here. I think here Nike did an excellent job. That is World Cup worthy. Many of the Nike shirts at the World Cup are not as good as this one, and we will see more. The Slovakia jersey beats almost any other uh, Nike jersey at the World Cup, and this turkey jersey is up there as well. Really, really nice job. Well, that concludes this portion of the Nations League preview. Let me know what you thought about these jerseys, which ones you like, which ones you dislike, where you agree and disagree with me. I really want to know that. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more of these and want to stay up to date. Tomorrow we'll get the second portion of the jersey reviews for League B. Up until then, and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.